Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about the DNA, like how we can run the DNA on in our environment. The DNA that is dialed number analyzer. So before running that DNA, I am going to tell you about the DNA things, how and where you can uh, activate the services on the DNA, whether it, you can do it on publisher or subscriber and what all are the services needed to activate or run the DNA? So let me uh, log in on my CUCM right now. As you can see, it is already open. So let me just log in on my CUCM and then I'll show it to you how you can run your DNA. So here, you can see I just logged in on my uh, CUCM, that is Cisco Unified CM Administration. Okay, so before running or before activating the services, let me show you, you can go to systems and in the Cisco Unified CM, here you will be able to find your all publishers and the subscribers. As of now, you will be able to see one publisher and one subscriber on my screen. In your environment, it might be like two, three, four, five subscribers, eight subscribers, and publisher would be a one only. So now you need to see on which server your DNA service is running, like whether it's running on this publisher or running on your subscriber. Okay, so that thing we can check it by going to the Cisco Unified Service Ability here from the drop down menu. Once you click on this Cisco Unified Service Ability, you can click on this one and click on Go. Okay, so once I click on this Cisco Unified Service Ability, it will open you a new page of Service Ability. There you can check your services by going to Tools, and after going to tools, there will be a service activation field, control center feature services and control center network services, right? In the control center feature services, you will be able to run that DNA service. So you can just change from run to not run and not run to run as well in this one. And if you want to activate the service, you need to go to this service activation. And once you uh, activate the DNS service, it will be in a running stage at that point of time, right? So now you need to select a service. As of now, I'm selecting this publisher and click on go. So once you click on go, it will give you a whole list of all the services which you can activate, right? So here you can see all my services are activated, like this one is not activated, this one is not activated, but the rest of the services are activated. So here you can see this is a Cisco dialed number analyzer service, which is deactivated, right? So let me just click on this one and let me click on save. So as soon as I am saving it, it will activate this dialed number analyzer service on my publisher as of now, right? If you want to activate this service on one of your subscribers also, then you can just go to that subscriber, particular service selected, and then you can activate the service on that particular subscriber, right? Make sure you remember that you activate this DNS service on that particular subscriber because you need to enter the IP or host name of that subscriber on which DNS server is DNA service is activated. Only on that subscriber, your DNA will work, right? So in this uh, service activation, we just activated it. And in the control center feature services, I'll be able to show that whether this service is running or stopped, right? So let me just choose a server here because I am choosing the publisher as of now. You can do it on any, any, anyone, any subscriber or publisher as well, right? So now we can just uh, look it out here. This Cisco dialed number analyzer service, it is showing started and activated right activated we just activated it from the tools and then service activation status it's showing started that means it will work so if i stop this service from here like here i just selected and it's showing started if i click on stop your dna will not work right let me show it to you as well 
right? So as of now, let me just click on stop and it is saying stopping service. It will take a couple of seconds to stop this particular service, right? So if we stop this service, you will not be able to run DNA on this particular server, right? So if this service is not started, you won't be able to run it. To able to run the DNA, your this service should be started as well. So as of now, it is stopping the service. And as of now, I believe it stopped the service. And let me check. Okay, now it's saying it the service is not running. And let me just open the DNA. And what you need to enter to open the DNA, just enter the host name or IP address, and then slash, and then you need to enter the DNA. As of now, you can see the service is not running. That's why it is not running. So as soon as I start the service, let me click on this one and start the service. So this start service will, will also take a couple of seconds so that it will just show loading on the page. So once this service starts, you will be able to run your DNA now. Okay, so now it I believe you can see it now. This Cisco dialed number analyzer service is showing started and activated. Now it should run. So this is our, uh, like I can say the host name or the IP address and then slash DNA. And once you click on enter again, you will be able to see it will open your Cisco DNA. That is Cisco dialed number analyzer. As you can see it up here. The Cisco Unified Communication Manager Dialed Number Analyzer is already there now. Now, how you can use it as well? It depends on you as well, like how you are using it. Let me refresh it again as it is not showing the drop down errors for analysis. Here, you will be able to see so many options under analysis as well. Okay, so here, yeah. So now, once you click on this analysis, you will be able to see analyzer, gateways, phone, strength. So depends on your requirement, you can analyze it. You can check it, which path your call is taking, right? So let me just click on the normal random analyzer. And there I can show you what are the options you can choose, right? So as of now, uh, you can see the analyzer input if you if you're making a call through this number, that is a calling party 1000, right? If you want to check it through this number and where you are calling, like if I am calling to 1005 number, right? And you can choose the CSS as well. As of now, no CSS is created. That's why it is not showing up here. So if I click on do analysis, it will show like which path this call is taking. Okay, let me click on this do analysis. I just clicked on this one and then you will be able to see the path okay so here you can see in the result summary it is showing up here the calling party information we just put one zero 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 nothing else dial digit is 1005 and it's showing match result is route this pattern that means there is a pattern for 1005 that's why it is showing route this pattern otherwise it will show a block this pattern if nothing is there right in the matched pattern information it said match the pattern 1005 call party number is 1005 this one right call flow if you see it is saying directory number 1005 that means this 1005 number is already there in this particular cm that is an internal number right and that's why it will not match any alternate matches here information not available as it is showing up here so now let me just change this 1005 to 5000 and let's see what all analysis it will show. Okay, so now I believe if 5000 number is in this particular CM, then it will show, otherwise it will show a block, right? As here you can see in the calling party 1000, dial digit is 5000 and it is saying block this pattern, right? So that means this is an unallocated number as you can see it up here. It is showing unallocated number, right? Mesh pattern information, call flow, it's not showing, alternate matches is not showing. That means this number doesn't exist in this particular CUCM environment. And maybe we can create a pattern for the route. We can create a route pattern to route this call as well to an outside number also. But I haven't created yet the route pattern or the translation pattern for this particular 5000 number. That's why it is showing this block this pattern.
so i i just wanted to show you like how you can search in the dna right how you can get the call flow how you can get the proper path where your call is going to right i hope i hope you can now uh, run the dna on your system and you can analyze your calls analyze your call path as well, right so i hope you learned something from this video please let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts any 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 issues any queries just let me know in the comment section thank you